Hey YouTube, welcome to TC10. I have my base face on, but I did not put on chapstick. I had to wait for you guys to be here for me to put on chapstick. I think I need to lower my camera a little bit. Let me see what happens when I do that. Is that better? I don't know. I used a different concealer underneath my eyes today and I'm not really liking it. Let me know what you guys think. Does this look any darker or different than it usually looks when I have on a base face? Because I do know sometimes I come on here and I don't have anything on. So let me know about that. How are my under eyes looking? Something new I tried today. I purchased another of the e.l.f. putty primers and this one is Maldives or Maldives. And it is super dark so I put it on very, very lightly and only, well you can tell where it is, only right here. The other day I used Caribbean and in that video it looked fine to me like in my camp like in my mirror but when I watched back the video I was like oh my gosh that is loud and this is deeper than that one and so just very lightly I have Maldives or Maldives on my cheeks today <laughs> it's an intense color but using this one lightly I don't know if I need Caribbean I don't think I need both because you can build up the color but so I'll keep playing with it and see if I determine whether or not I want to keep them both or not. Um, but they were fairly inexpensive, and so does it even really matter? Because it's not like I wasted a, any money, a lot of money. They were six bucks. Another thing I tried new today, I purchased the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer in Rose. And this is what that looks like. Wait a minute, is this Rose? Yes, this is Rose, and I was hoping that it didn't look as pasty as Cream, which is the one I had been using, and it does not look as pasty as Cream. However, it doesn't conceal my lid discoloration that I have right here in the inner corners. If it's not going to conceal, I may as well use the Fenty Eye Shadow Primer, which is clear. So I did order... <laughs> The e.l.f. Putty Primer in, I believe it's clay, and it looks tan. It looks like it may be my skin tone, and if so, it will cover this discoloration and not look pasty. And so I'm going to see what that looks like and then determine if I'm going to keep these two or not. And if I decide not to keep these two, I will just toss them because I have been digging a brush in it, digging my fingers in it, and so I don't feel like it's sanitary for me to give them to someone else. So what we're going to do today, thank you for being with me through all of that. We're going to do two more looks with the Viseart 03 Bridal Satin Palette. And what we're going to do today is very simple. We're going to, we're going to use this row. Is that a column? We're going to, <laughs> we're going to use this column and do a look. <laughs> and we're going to use this column and do a look. So these two bottom colors will be inner corner. Uh, this will be lid, outer corner, lid, outer corner. So that's what we're going to do. One on each eye. And I did do my brows again today. So let's just jump into it. So did I not pull out brushes? I did. And then I just got confused. <laughs> so we're going to start with <laughs> small angled brushes. And I also have out four of my Real Techniques larger flat shader brushes, the angled brushes. So we're going to go with this pink right here. And we're going to put that on the inner corner. Ooh, that looks nice over that primer shows up nicely Ooh. let me make sure I don't get my brushes mixed up then we're going to take this shade here but which one looks darker like in person this looks darker but then will this look better on the lid in this in the outer corner or vice versa all right we're going to put this on the lid I'm confused. I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, 
uh, I'm liking how I'm really liking this palette and even though this is a really simple look and easy to look at this palette and just do it by columns the last look I did I did it by row I did the bottom row and so it's just like really easy simple if you're not sure of what to do with this palette so I'm just doing this even though this is not a new palette well new to me just to give you visuals of what certain colors will look like where and different looks that you can do very easily so we're going to take another um, flat shader brush and we're going to take this bottom color this one here and put that in the outer corner well, that was a good choice i think it would look good either way either with this one that's center lid and that purple on the outer corner i think yeah, I think either way that would look nice. But looking here, this should be on the lid and the purple should be out of corner just because this seems to be a more bold color, maybe? But either way, I, I do think it's going to end up looking monochromatic. So we're not going to do blending just yet because I'm going to go into the Warm Matte 10 palette for um, my crease shade which actually is transition because my crease shade I put way up here because I take my lid colors into the crease so that when I'm looking at you you can see them because if I only put the lid color just on my lid when I open my eye depending on how thick my liner is you can barely see the lid color so that's why I do take my lid colors up higher so you can still see it when my eyes are fully open so we're going to take a clean small brush and we're going to take this shade here and put this on the inner corner of the other eye Ooh, oh my. Did I know this was this light, bright, shimmery? I don't think I knew that or realized that. Did I use, and I did use, did I use that shade before? I kind of don't think so, because I think I would remember this. Whoa, wow. Okay, <laughs> moving along. <laughs> We're gonna take this gray here, and I did use this in a previous look, I believe I did. And we're going to put that on the center of the lid. Well, these two look nice next to each other. This is a really nice palette. I'm really glad that I purchased it. And I know I said it in another video that I was skeptical to get it. Like, do I want another all shimmer palette? Are these colors going to be too cool toned for my liking? I don't think I look particularly good with cool tone lid colors. That looks nice. I want to build that up on the lid because it seems like maybe it just looks like that on my end. Oh, what is this going on up here? Okay, something's not looking right. Hmm. Maybe because it is a light color. But it seems like it's there, but it's not there. It's looking patchy, but it's not. Maybe I didn't apply my primer evenly. I did apply the primer with a brush and then I went over it and patted it with my finger. This is looking darker than down here and I don't know why. I, I don't know why. So we're going to take a clean one and go into this color here and put this on the outer corner. I think that middle shade may be too cool for my liking. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to lightly just tap where that line is to blend that and I'm going to go back to the previous brush that I used for that gray color and I'm going to tap over um, that first shade just to blend those. Okay, I'm liking that. And for the other eye, the purple color, the brush I use for the purple, I'm going to tap that over that pink just to blend that. And the brush that I use for the red, I'm going to tap that. And I'm not, I'm not putting any additional product. I'm tapping this between the line of the purple and that cranberry color, berry color. I don't know. I'm not good at describing colors. I am liking this. I'm not sure I like that gray color. 
I'm going to take a little more of that pink. There we go. That's what it looks like. And put a little bit more of that here. And I'm going to take the brush I used for that purple. I'm looking at the brushes to see which one has the purple. <laughs> And I'm just going to tap over that line to blend that in. I like how those two look together. Okay, so we've used six brushes. Yay! So we're going to put this down. And we're going to go into, excuse me, the warm mats. And as usual, <laughs> I just want to take this shade here because this is like a non-color for me which is also i love it and i'm going to dust this above the lid color just to blend that out and also to cover up that primer even though it's not as pasty as the cream one i do still prefer that as i'm noticing to still cover that up with a matte shade a matte skin tone shade and so I'm just blending 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 I have another one of these this is why I buy more than one brush if I really like it so I'm going to take a clean one dip into that same color and do this side because I don't want to mix um, the lid colors here above this line on this side. So I'm wondering if I want to do a brow bone highlight and I kind of don't think so because I'm looking in that palette and I'm thinking what would look nice as a brow bone highlight that's not going to be too shimmery. I just got quiet. I apologize. So two easy looks. This is a bright color. I'm gonna take a little bit of that same color from this palette and just lightly sweep that right here because, oh gosh, that's a bright color. <laughs> I make the weirdest noises. So I am liking both of these looks. Let me know what you are thinking. Even though we're not done yet. Do I want to do a brow bone highlight? Yes. And so what I'm going to do, and I didn't have a brush out for that. We're going to take, hopefully it doesn't come out too light. I don't know if I want to use that one. We're going to take this shade here, which is, it has a tan base in person, but it still looks really, really light. So I'm going to just take it on the tip of this brush. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Okay, that worked. Very lightly under the arch of my brow that I don't have. <laughs> I like that. Okay. I was always intimidated to use this color because it does look so pale. We're going to go back with that blending brush that I used for that, for this color here. And just lightly go over that brow bone color. I like this. Okay, we're going to go back to the Bridal Satins palette. Bridal Satins. Bridal Satin palette. Sorry for the glare. And for, I do have two of these brushes out so I don't mix colors. And I'm just going to be real simple. I'm going to take this brown here and just run that over. My lower lash line, real simple. We're not going to do anything fancy under here today. And we're going to connect it over here to where that brown was. And we're going to switch brushes. I just had it. Where'd I put it? Oh, right here in front of me. <laughs> and we're going to take <laughs> this red shade that we used on the outer corner on this eye. I am like so weird. Um... And I'm just going to run that under this lash line. And we're going to connect it. 
and it never stays connected because when my eyes tear I just lightly dab with my finger and so whatever color here ends up com coming off as well and so even though it looks nice when it's connected it doesn't stay connected and that's fine where's the first brush okay well not the first brush but the brush for the brown See, moments like these makes me happy that I do purchase more of one brush if I really like it. And so then if I do looks like this, one with one eye and one with the other eye, I don't have to worry about color switching or using a color switch, I mean, or wiping the brush off. I can just get another one. I like both of these looks. I'm going to, for the first time, not the first time, first time for you guys, I'm going to try on camera <laughs> this brush that's supposed to help you wing your eyeliner and this is a rare beauty no it's not is this a rare beauty brush it says beauty blender on it but is that what it is it is a beauty blender brush but i still have the container and it has um oh wow why did i forget that because i thought i purchased a different brush for wing and shadow i did no, I purchased two of them. What? Why am I thinking it was a totally different brush? Okay, let me just do what I'm doing because I'm like beside myself right now. I want to take the MAC Black Track Fluid Line, which is a gel liner. I used this brush before and I'm like, okay, I need to practice with this brush. <laughs> so I don't, I'm not sure. Sorry for shaking how this is going to come out because it's supposed to help you just naturally wing but then it skips like right here it skips but it's supposed to help you just flick and it did flick but it skipped like right here in this part so that's why I, I need to practice or just give up and just keep using a brush like this one because this one is really easy and perfect for me okay i like that this is longer than than the eyeliner brush i used the other day the hourglass one this one because then it's easier for me to get into this corner and i know i had problems in that video doing that so even though this is supposed to help with the wing i don't know I, I don't know. So we're going to move on to the other eye. <laughs> Same brush. <laughs> oh, gosh. I do this eye and see if it... Yeah, this one... I definitely need to practice. And one wing always goes up and one goes down. And I know it's my technique... And the more I try to fix it, the worse it gets. <sighs> oh, goodness. And I don't like to pull my eye, but I want this line to be at least straight. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, goodness. And when I see people do wings, they just, I mean, they'll start from the inner corner and just go straight across and flick. And I'm just like, how do they do that? Like, it looks so easy. And then I'm like, okay, they've been doing this for a long time. Or at least, like, consistently practicing for it to look so easy because it's never that easy for me. Unless I'm using an angled brush. But then still, if I follow the shape of my eye, one ends up down and one ends up going up because my eyes are not symmetrical. And so I have to be aware <laughs> to make sure I flick to make it go up. See, this one I like. This one looks like a Joker mustache thing or whatever. That ain't, that's not even a Joker. But one side I always like and one side I don't. And usually I don't do wings this far out because they're never, ever, ever the same and when they're when the wings are baby wings <laughs> like this if i smile it'll get eaten up in my smile line 
with this one, it's just like, why is this thing hanging over here? <laughs> so that's re another reason why I don't <laughs> like really, you know, do all of that because it, it just doesn't suit my eye shape. And I'm just trying to get this one even with the other one, even though I think that looks funny as hell. <laughs> We're going to leave this like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Switching topics like I usually do. I also purchased, this is back to eye primers. I also purchased the NYX, I don't even know what it's called, Skin Tone Eyeshadow Base. Because I just want something that's not going to, why does it look oily on top? Oh, it's a plastic thing on here. <laughs> so goofy because I want something that's gonna look my skin look like my skin tone and not look ashy or pasty and maybe I can just not even have to put shadow up here so that's what I'm trying to do and so I'm probably just wasting my money trying all these different liners I mean not liners but primers but none of, none of them are expensive and so I don't really mind even though it does still add up what was I going to do in a room the hourglass ocean floor that I used the other day, which did not irritate my eyes, which was great. It did fade fairly quickly because my eyes do tear. And I did not, um, can you see what I'm doing? I did not touch up. I don't touch up my makeup. Even when, you know, before COVID, when I would go out, I might touch up my lipstick or my gloss, but that's about it. Like as far as, you know, putting additional powder on or, you know, some people do carry their eyeshadow palette with them. And I used to do that. I used to carry, you know, whatever makeup I wore that day, eyeshadow palette, eyeliner, mascara, I would carry it with me, but then I never used it. So finally I'm like, why am I even carrying this around? And now my eyes are tearing. Where's my Q-tip? I'm going to put on mascara. This is a sample, probably need to throw it away, of the Fenty. I do have a Zoom call at 7. So even though both of my eye looks are different, these will be complete looks. I haven't worn mascara in a while. I do like this wand because the, the longer bristles are good for the top lashes and the bottom, the shorter bristles are good for my bottom lashes. And it really does comb through my lashes. This mascara does not flake into my eyes, which means it does not irritate my eyes. It doesn't have a scent to it. Some mascaras have an odor. And the odor of it irritates my eye allergies. And then my eyes will tear from the scent of it. This one doesn't do that for me. And it is the sample, so I don't know if the full size one would be different. But I do have a full size, I believe, for when I get rid of the sample. For lips, I'm going to be really simple. I'm going to use hot chocolate um, Fenty. Gloss bomb. What do you think about these eye looks? And you get a full eye. I did mascara today. So what do you think about that? I like this color, gloss bomb, the hot chocolate, because it gives a little bit of color, but it also accentuates my natural lip color. So I can wear this with any look, I think. So that's why I like that. This is the complete look. Let me know what you think. Let me know how my under eyes are looking. Do they look different than usual when I do a full face? Does it look lighter? Does it look darker? Um, and also let me know what you think about this eye look. So this eye is this row. This eye is this row. So let me know what you think. If you have this palette, let me know what you think about this palette. If you recreate these looks, and excuse my <laughs> mustache wings <laughs> thank you for being here and you will see me 
in the next video.